Hey, mommy needs a team. Anyway, on today's menu for breakfast, yesterday I did a BLT with um, Swiss cheese, spring lettuce, uh, spring mix lettuce, and I did a green drink with cucumber, avocado, kale, little splash of orange juice, ice, a kiwi, and uh, let's see, mango, a little bit of mango. That was excellent. I'll show it again. I still have a little bit of it held up. And so today on the menu, I'm going to make, uh, let's see, uh, <laughs> potatoes and French toast for breakfast. And then you'll see it's going to be an amazing quesadilla from um, Blue Apron later. Okay, just um, chopped up some golden potatoes. Okay, hey, just um, chopped up some golden potatoes. I eyeballed this. It's um, cinnamon, milk, and two eggs. I'll probably make about six uh, French toast slices with just bread that I have in the house. It's not sourdough. I don't believe in sourdough French toast. I'm sure it's a thing somewhere, but I'm just going to use regular old home pride wheat bread. There's my leftover green shake. It held up real well in the refrigerator. Kale, avocado, cucumber, splash of orange juice, a bit of mango, um, avocado, and ice, and a little bit of water. Blended that up in my Ninja, and boom, it was so good. I had energy for the entire day yesterday at work. Unbelievable. Well, here we go, all plated up. Yes, I just did. I added a little two egg scramble with a little Mexican cheese. But yeah, your French toast with just regular home pride. This is, you know, me coming with the urban peasant. Just that philosophy of using what you have on hand. I made the Yukon gold potatoes and wow, amazing. And then I add on the um, green shake if you like. Um, I'm drinking the drink green shake. And, um, or else just a, you know, water, sparkling water, orange juice, whatever. So here we go. The second part, I'm going to do the sheep pan chicken quesadilla. This is a Blue Apron recipe. I've been on Blue Apron for a while. This is not a plug for Blue Apron. I just find with my busy schedule, it's helpful to me. There are lots of different companies out there that send you prepared foods. However, I do love to prepare my own food, so this is a way that I can shortcut going to the grocery store, still having a wonderful idea for a meal, and using my mindful cooking and, you know, sometimes tweaking it to my own personal needs. I will use what is given to me in the Blue Apron delivery service, and I will, you know, create the recipe with or without holding to the exact recipe. For those that are new to cooking and preparing meals for themselves, this is a wonderful way to learn how to start preparing food for yourself. So here are my ingredients from the recipe. We've got the chicken right here. We've got our um, corn, or sorry, our flour tortillas. They give you everything, it's really nice. <laughs> And um, I've got some scallions there. I've got a lime. I've got pepper here. Um, got the sour cream stuff. So what I'm going to do in first is I'm going to just take, I'm going to roast the uh, corn. And I'm also going to preheat the oven. And I'm going to, I've already washed the produce. I'm um, taking care to take the silks off of the corn. I'm cutting the lime. I'm doing those type of things. So I'm going to do this. This is a shorter version, but here are the recipe. You can look it up. They even say you can have Alexa look up the recipe. Lord. So I have my chopped up chicken breast. I'm going to salt and pepper that with, you know, my favorite Himalayan sea salt. I have my pepper um, sliced pretty thinly and cut up so that when you eat it in the quesadilla, you can just have a bite size, a bite, a bite size chunk in your mouth. So um, instead of having a really long sliver kind of slide out of your mouth. Anyway, that's a little bit too much information. You can see my shadow back there. <laughs> I want to talk to you a little bit more about me and this whole chef thing. People 
close friends of mine have asked me, you know, Delisa, I didn't know you were a chef. And I'm like, uh, you know, yeah, actually, I'm a chef. I've been cooking since I was 15 years old. My mother passed away and I was then, you know, kind of thrust thrusted into the position of preparing meals for my father and I. My other two sisters were away at college. So I started to do that and um, it was pretty successful as a young, young, young teen. And um, into my 20s and 30s and after having my kids and people would always ask me, oh my God, you're cooking dinner again? Do you cook every day, Delisa? My daycare provider asked me. I'm like, yeah, I cook every day for the family. I also was up every morning. My shift started back then at 645. I had to be in San Francisco from where I live. And so that was about an hour commute. So. My kids, when they were small, they always had packed lunches, so I was chefing their lunches. Um, at 4.30 in the morning, I would make four lunches. Um, also, in my 20s, I didn't share with you that I actually made 700 meatballs for one of my dear friends. She actually made my wedding dress. She sewed my dress. So it was kind of like an even, even exchange from the future. I made her meatballs. She made my wedding dress. <laughs> So anyway, I have been a chef for many, many years and actually being a nurse and being in the midst of a lot of chefs, uh, we do potlucks, we bring our best, we bring our A game when it's time to eat at our potlucks when we just recently have been able to do that again, of course, after the pandemic. So here we go. So here we are cooking with the Mexican spice and the salt and pepper over the chicken. Um, breast and that's going nicely. I have also chopped up the white bottoms of my scallion so that's going well too. And um, yeah I put the Mexican spice hopefully with my camera. I'm not sure I was doing something else. <laughs> my corn is in the oven and um, everything is going really well. Now a little bit more to my story is that um, I wanted to share that some of my main really wonderful dishes that people just rush to the table for is I must say my annual Thanksgiving dinner we come together as family as community as dear friends we bring dishes together but I'm telling you the turkey the dressing is slam in if I do have to say so myself so we're looking and smelling pretty good now. And over here I've got my sour cream with uh, juices of a half of a lime. I've also got uh, the mayo with a little lime zest and juice of half of a lime. We're still moving toward quesadilla. The corn is in the oven doing quite well. I give you little bits of myself of how I ended up in this contest and how I've cooked for so many years. And I just love it. It brings me joy to see. I've had many, many parties at my home over the years. And some I've had catered, some I've had potlucks, and some I've created my own dishes. And um, it's just a joy to see people uh, consuming the food, having a wonderful time, and enjoying life together. So that's what uh, food does for me, the beauty of eating and cooking and preparing. And so I want to bring that to you with my mindful cooking um, recipes and attitude of positivity into creating amazing meals, whether they're ones that you create yourself or ones that you read from a recipe. You're still putting your heart, you're putting intention into what you're creating. So thank you. On to the quesadillas. So now I have a foil lined pan with olive oil and um, the actual tortillas and I'm going to layer the cheese the chicken and um, fold it over. Layered and folded. Okay, all done. Plate it up, quesadillas with roasted corn. I'm including a bonus recipe of an orzo vegetarian dish 
that I have just been asked to attend a potluck and I was like, oh my goodness, what am I gonna take for the potluck? So I'm doing some broccoli with tomatoes, I'm gonna saute some mushrooms, garlic and onion, and I'm gonna put it with my orzo and then add like either a pesto sauce or a balsamic or a combo. Uh, stay with me. So I am pushing things around. I've got some onions, some mushrooms, oops, uh, onion, mushrooms in here. I'm gonna put the garlic in right now. I didn't want it to put it in too early because I don't want it to burn. And I put olive oil because I would actually use some butter, but because this is a potluck and it's Berkeley, um, and you know, a lot of people are more vegetarian strictly, um, so I am not using anything with, that comes from an animal. Everything is gonna come from vegetables, woohoo! So there you have it. That was like, I think it took 15, maybe 25 minutes tops. I have a nice orzo pasta salad. I'm gonna refrigerate it. Um, it's got broccoli, uh, cherry tomatoes, uh, mushrooms sauteed with onions, and I did do a little balsamic pesto combo dressing. And so this is great. It's all vegetarian, olive oil only, and we're ready to go to the party.